Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more BSL action. We are in Group C of the Asian Championships in Season 15 of BSL. This is the final match of this group. We have Zhuan Zhuan, the very cheesy, aggressive Terran, going up against Fengji, uh, one of the best Chinese Zerg players. Honestly, I I would be shocked if Zhuan Zhuan is able to take down Fengji. Like, I could see him taking a map, right? Like, he's super aggressive and cheesy. Uh, he could catch him, maybe, but, you know, I, I think if I have figured out, and you guys have figured out so quickly that Xuan Xuan basically cheeses every single game, Fengji should do just kind of safe openers and probably be feeling pretty good. Like, I think Fengji is a very solid player overall, so I uh, definitely think that uh, he he should be able to weather the storm and just kind of soften. Like, look, see, there's an SUV going to the center right now. We're going to have a center eight barracks. Uh, now, to be fair, center eight racks, yeah, it's it's like a little bit cheesy, but it's not like crazy all in or something. Well, if you send a second one, it is. Okay, so it's gonna be double eight racks. No one is gasping or getting too surprised here, I think. Uh, Xuan Chuan just kind of doing his thing. And let's see if Feng Chi can end up holding it. I mean, the map is Gladiator, so... I, I, I guess if you take over the ramp it's hard for the drones to get up or something like that yeah i'm not i'm not sure exactly how this is going to end up looking all right double barracks in the center here the overlord is scouting in the wrong direction this is going to be a fast and furious one no doubt about that i'm actually kind of surprised that people don't just like nine pool or something against against Sean Sean, to be honest <laughs> like the amount of wins that you would probably get against stuff like this would be pretty, pretty astronomical. Now, he has his depot going up in the main. The first SCV going off to scout, starting to produce Marines as well. Here comes the drone scout from Fengji. He does have a hatchery first play, followed up by spawning pool. And the drone sees an SCV coming through. Should go all the way into check, and as he gets there... Okay, he sees it, no gas... Not that many SCVs. He knows exactly what's going on now. Let's see how he ends up deciding to try to hold this. Like, does he just give up the hatchery? I think he is going to lose the hatchery. I don't think you can realistically hold that, right? Like, this is going to be three SCVs. Already, three Marines are out with two more on the way. I think you give that up and you throw down a sunken. This feels... Actually, I feel like it should be here. This isn't going to reach, like, to there, I don't believe. So that could end up being an issue. He goes ahead and cancels his hatchery. Now, down the ramp? No, just going to sit. Uh, Jean Jean has to dive in pretty quickly. Like, if you let them get a sunken up, the game is going to be very difficult to win. But like I said, this is this seems to be slightly off. Now, six slings popping out. Five Marines up the ramp with an SCV will easily kill five lings. Layer coming up for Fengji. Orlings being made as well. I wonder what the plan is here. By the way, there is a hidden hatchery, so that's actually really nice. I believe that was the scouting drone uh, that he had. So, Xuan Xuan is going to be in a lot of trouble if he does not realize what's going on here. Meanwhile, Academy and Refinery. I like this follow-up by Xuan Xuan, actually, I have to say. Uh, when BBS doesn't end up killing your opponent, it can sometimes be hard to figure out what to do after that, right? He's got 13 SCDs. You can't just throw down a command center. Uh, but going into medics and marines, this actually, I I feel like it gives him a little bit of potential here for a kill move, right? Like, are you actually going to have enough? Are you going to expect uh, to be hit this hard? Like, when Stim is done, right? It, basically, in another minute and about 10 seconds, he's going to have Stim. So that's, that's going to be a very powerful timing for him. Let's see what tech, I mean, this has to be a Spire, right? Okay, Spire goes down. Marines still being rallied over. Academy is finished. There's Stim started now. Got to get some medics out of here. SCV just trying to do a little bit of a scout. And see, this is what I was talking about with the Sunken. This is not the best placement. He could have come over and tried to deny a little bit of mining there. He sees the Spire. Well, I mean, he's been on a clock the entire time. Honestly, I I think... I think Xuan Xuan can take this. 
Like, he should be able to hit this stim attack right before the mutas are out. Okay, a couple more uh, creep colonies going down. Oh, man. The fact that he is not down there pressuring this. Like, if he was, if he walked down the ramp right now, I think the game is his. But if these two finish, that becomes really hard, actually. With this many lings and... Gosh, yeah, two sunkens. Let's see. Okay, Juan Chong coming down now. The second sunken finishes. Uh, I don't think this is going to go well for him, unfortunately. And uh, trying to attack. Okay, a fire bat comes up. The fire bat not attacking the lings. That's what it needed to do. And that is that. Chuan Chuan is dead. Uh, there is no recovering from there. Losing all of that bio there. And he has another base. Like, there's not even an engineering base. So the mutalisks can literally just, like, fly in and kill him at this point. Couple fire bats. Okay, GG. Uh, Feng Chi wins game one.